Los Revolution 666, that's Americano Blockbuster Sensational, that's Mucho Grande, Horror Americano Gringo es Terrifico, Mucho Grande FX Especial, Los Zombie de la Beatles es Sensational, Mucho Grande Entertainmento. Revolution 666 es mucho grande, spectaculoso, mucho grande, entertainmento. Of total terror. Haunted souls hunt the living, the living whose bodily food for these ungodly creatures. Night of the living dead. A bizarre adventure in fear. An experience in shock, more shattering than your strangest nightmare. Night of the living dead. A night with the dead who cannot die. A night of total terror. on this thing and I want it quick. I've got my whole department working around the clock. Well, you'll have more help to call on. I announced in the early papers I'm making more men available to you. Now, Matt, this smut picture racket has got to be stopped. And the murders caused directly by this film has to be stopped. When I say let's see those legs, honey, I mean just that. Let's see those legs from your toes right up to your hat. <laughs> You know why we're here. One of your boys has gone too far. Which one?
After his death, the world mourned the loss of their most popular hero. Moviegoers missed their beloved idol, and since no one could replace him, many rushed to imitate him. As we all know, an impossible task to accomplish because there is only one Bruce Lee. However, it is said that imitation is the highest form of flattery and the greatest compliment to give. Bruce Lai is the best known double for Bruce Lee and is an accomplished martial artist in his own right. We felt that you should take a good look at his abilities and compare for yourself. Assist, not with a crucifix, but with a sword. Prince of Darkness, my Lord Satan, grant our prayer, we beseech thee. Revenge the death of my husband, your servant. Punish the righteous. The curse of the devil. Exorcism or sacrifice. Blessing or bestiality. <gasps> of the devil, Satan in control of the body and the mind. Light the fire. Send me to my master. Take me, Satan. Take me. And doom the Donenskis forever. of a virgin, the jaws of a wolf, the night of a full moon. Thus will it descend and the Perennials become one of the truly damned. In the night of Valpurgis, Ilona accomplishes her mission. Waldemar, Malitza came to see me. She told me the whole story. <laughs> Now you know that I murdered your father and Maria. But you're not culpable. You didn't invite this malediction. I want to help you. Only I can save you. My love will destroy the gray shadow, darling. I swear that you'll find peace. The curse of the devil. The violence that rages in the soul of every one of us. Can man be turned into an animal? Do animals become men? Is it possible to exercise the powers of Satan? Does the love of a woman really conquer all? The curse of the devil. Coming soon.
brutality and evil. It came from terror and fear. The curse of the werewolf that was laid on a baby who grew into a man possessed by a monster. To this Spanish town, the night brought drinking and dancing, music and girls, and the moon, the full moon. A man possessed by a frenzied lust to kill and kill and kill. The curse of the werewolf. A man possessed by a desperate need for love who found in Christina all the passionate sincerity of youth. Christina, do you love me? Will you marry me, Christina? You say you love me, will you marry me? Yes. Yes, I will. Thunderbird International Pictures presents The Death Curse of Tartu, a legend black with evil and red with the blood of innocent youth. Photographed in the forbidding depths of the Florida Everglades, this is the incredible story of an archaeological excursion planned as an educational adventure and ending as a blood-spattered nightmare of incarnate hallucinations. Cold and slimy creatures without mercy hunt and kill controlled by the soul of a rotting corpse. They danced over the grave of Tartu, who was restless in his coffin, and made passionate love on his burial mound until... Ah! Julie, Julie, what is it? They faced the terrible reality of the death curse of Tartu. Was it really a killer shark in the swamp waters, or was it... Tartu, who had sworn vengeance on all who disturbed his grave. If we sit here and wait, it's only a matter of time until Tartu will destroy the all. Thrill to the heart-stopping suspense of scenes that spare no detail of horror. See the bloody massacre of terrified youngsters as Tartu the Witch Doctor returns to wreak vengeance. See the death curse of Tartu. is weak, Dr. Goss, growing weaker. All your skill can't help her now. She's under a spell that can be broken only by me. Or death. I am Dracula's daughter. The one, the only, king of monsters brings you the demon of the atomic age. For a 
Boris Karloff as Frankenstein, 1970, carrying on the hideous experiments of his infamous ancestor. In this stone sarcophagus, deep in the bowels of the earth, he buried his creature, his creation. Frankenstein, 1970. In the hell pit of his centuries-old castle, he perverts the terrifying wonders of nuclear science. Miss gets you some eyes. To unleash a horror beyond all imagination. What kind of dealings do you have with the director of the morgue? Are you interested in corpses? Even the cyclotron concealed in his subterranean vault cannot complete his foul creation for which he must have throbbing vital organs transplanted from living beings. Two people are missing and I want to know why they haven't come back. Mr. O, I imagine, would have us suspect foul play. Boris Karloff as Frankenstein, 1970. Carlo, Carlo, hundred tons of hell and fire, the fantastic war of giant fire monsters from the bowels of the earth, creatures born in hell to destroy each other. But first, they'll destroy the world, as their struggle crushes mountains and smashes whole cities, as they scream their challenge of mortal combat and scorch the earth with 10,000 degree jets of flaming devastation. The scene, outer space. The story, destruction of Earth. See Gorak, the most spectacular science shocker ever filmed, surpassing anything in the realm of science fiction to date. See astronauts, satellites, and spaceships operating from South Polar Base. You are actually in every exciting scene. It could happen. It may happen. Warning to every man, woman, and child. Nerve-shattering tension will grip you and hold you spellbound in the most enthralling science fact shocker ever made in scenes never before filmed in limitless outer space. See scientists move the Earth with hydrogen jet power. See the world doomed by a wild invading sun 6,000 times bigger than Earth. See gigantic earthquakes, space collisions, and tidal waves. Filmed in blazing color on the giant screen. See Gorat. The mind of man is the servant of evil. Instruments of torture are always much the same wherever one goes. Our ancestors had imaginations that were truly diabolical. The Virgin of Nuremberg, the most efficacious instrument of torture.
the most desirable woman. <laughs> Terrible punisher of the Virgin of Nuremberg. Whitewood, Massachusetts. A young girl, a stranger, has come to Whitewood to do research. She has come, she thinks, to study. Leave Whitewood. Leave Whitewood tonight, I beg of you. Leave before it is too late. In spite of this warning, the girl lingers on. hundred years old. Human blood keeps them alive forever. Barlow. out there is Dr. Freddie Curtis back at you with a surprise. I just got an interesting piece of music. That's perfect. Beautiful. The Helter Skelter is unleashed and we are the horsemen of the apocalypse. Machete. Seventy dollars a day for yard work. Hundred for roofing. Get in. One twenty-five for septic. Sewage. Have you ever killed anyone before? As you may know, illegal aliens such as yourself are being forced out of our country at an alarming rate. For the good of both our people, our new senator must die. And for that, I will pay you $150,000. Cash. He was given an offer he couldn't refuse. I cost the most. Because I'm the best there is. Set up. Double-crossed. And left for dead. I took a vow of peace. And now you want me to help you kill all these men? Yes, bro. I mean, Padre. I'll see what I can do. He knows the score. Where are my wife and daughter? He gets the women. He's and he kills the bad guys. Oh, shit. 
you move that a Mexican day laborer is a goddamn federale! But they soon realize he's coming after us. They just fucked with the wrong Mexican. Action. Suspense. Emotion. Please, Father, have mercy. God has mercy. I don't. If you're gonna hire a machete to kill the bad guy, you better make damn sure the bad guy isn't you. Machete. achievement in motion picture history. Finally, the truth about Hitler's diabolical plans to create a race of superwomen can be told. Werewolf Women of the SS. Welcome to Death Camp 13, home of the Nazi's diabolical plan to create an army of super werewolf soldiers. This project, its failure, will be your demise and the end of Germany, Bowman. You have been chosen. <laughs> Rejoice! I have found the perfect solution. The she-devils of Benzac. Can they alone supply the blood needed to save Hitler's mad dreams? Or will the pride of Germany fall into ruin? This is my project. We are now in total control of pure wolf. This is an outrage! Featuring Udo Kier, Sherry Moon Zombie, Tom Tolls, Sybil Danning, Bill Mosley, and Nicholas Cage as Fu Manchu. This is my baton! <laughs> Written and directed by Rob Zombie.
temple is set. The festivities have begun. What an uninvited guest has arrived. And this year, there will be no leftovers. Attempting to solve the distance of a beautiful girl, the East Side kids invade a haunted mansion and come face to face with sinister Bella Lugosi. The kids take the first round, but that's only the beginning of this terrifying night. Her beauty was her passport to friendship and fame. How would you like to be Miss America? The winner is number three, Miss Dixie Ann Dykes. And her moment of glory brought explosively exciting romance. Gaiety and glamour were his gift to her. Bought at the price of lawless violence. <laughs> condemned her to the aloneness of the unwanted and to the dens of night crawlers. Do you pay me the $40? I just told you I don't have it. It shouldn't be hard for a girl like you to earn that much in, say, uh, two hours. genius of Edgar Allan Poe could knit them so closely together. 
the burning passions of the purest of loves. The deadly passions of the madly prurient. Madeline, you're leaving this house with me tomorrow. Only I could. For hundreds of years, evil thoughts and evil deeds have been committed within these walls. The house itself is evil now. Here they all are. I should... This is monstrous. It waits for me, because very soon I shall be dead. Oh, Madeline, come away with me now. Where is she? Oh. Where is she? You buried your own sister alive? I did. She's dead now. The master hand of the macabre creates its masterpiece. The supernatural is something that isn't supposed to happen, but it does happen. Now look, Doc, we're buddies, okay? But don't try to convert me. I'm trying to prepare you. My name's Markway, Dr. Markway, a scientist interested in the supernatural. The unnatural, if you like. I came to Hill House to find the key to another world. Assisting me in this exploration of the unknown was Eleanor, Nell, who could look back into the past, and Theo, Something of a witch who could see into the future. This is Luke, who didn't believe in anything. Until evil, patient and waiting, made him change his mind. Stop it! God. God. Whose hand was I holding? How many of us take seriously the things we cannot or do not want to understand simply because we are afraid? Eleanor, you're Paul! Did you hear me calling? Oh, this house. You have to watch it every minute. The Haunting was produced and directed by Robert Wise, brilliant producer of West Side Story. The stars consist of a cross-section of top talent in the world of entertainment. Julie Harris, Claire Bloom, Richard Johnson, Russ Tamblin. What does it take to convince you that the dead do not always rest in peace? That some houses, like Hill House, are born bad? <laughs> Is it human or inhuman? Earthly or unearthly? Baffling questions, astounding questions that not even the world's greatest scientific minds can answer. Gentlemen, do you realize what we've found? A being from another world as different from us as one pole from the other. We can only communicate with it. See? What happened, Doctor? In the greenhouse, I was working, I couldn't see. Yeah. Then, then a blast of cold air, and I heard Olsen scream. Come here. Get in the corner. Now hold this in front of you. Stay by the light switch. One, 
0.9. Needles hit the top. Whitewood, Massachusetts. A young girl, a stranger, has come to Whitewood to do research. She has come, she thinks, to study. Leave Whitewood. Leave Whitewood tonight. I beg of you. Leave before it is too late. In spite of this warning, the girl lingers on. years old. Human blood keeps them alive forever. Far enough. a mysterious fear such as no human being has ever seen before. Where there are mountains, there are always clouds. But this one remains static. On the side of the Trollenberg, it never moves. Freak of nature. A radioactive freak of nature? It strikes without warning, wreaking death and destruction too horrible to behold of evil that tortures its victims and hurls them mercilessly to the brink of murder and madness. What is it, and what does it crave, this creeping horror that hungers and thrives on human flesh while it inhabits its own silent world that no man can penetrate? No one is safe from its spell of destruction. A cold, hypnotic stare striking fear into the hearts of all, creating a frenzied nightmare for those who behold it. The cloud is splitting up. Splitting up. There are four of them now, and all moving this way. Incredible it may seem, but today, in 20th century America, there still exist the evil ones who call upon the black arts of Satan to bring back the spirits of the dead. Once you are accepted the possibility of everything, then we'll bring your sister back. But once you have crossed the barrier, there is no turning back. And out of the eternal shadows came the ruthless spirit of Felicia to take over the mind, the heart, the lovely body of a living girl and use it without shame to win back all that death had taken from her, her husband. I've come back to you, Dickon. Felicia's come back. Her father. I love my daughter in spite of the evil in her. But she's been dead for six years. I don't want her back. Not this way. Her mother. You want to go on living a useful, happy life. I'm warning you to go away and do not come back. I'm not afraid of you. Even her sister. For Felicia had come back to Earth to destroy everything 
that stood in her evil path. Karloff, the personable Mark Damon, and lush and lovely women, even though one is from the netherworld, a vampire, a Vordalac. Black Sabbath, as ancient as superstition, as modern as the telephone. The bare truth about the unbelievable, such as the brilliant beauty of a priceless jewel that holds body to a buzzing fly, a vengeful woman's murderous spirit. <coughs> Only on the seventh night of the seventh full moon can the living see the lifeless undead. I am hung. Is he man? For vampire. An adventure into black magic that goes beyond the boundaries of the supernatural. And a man's devoted love is welcomed by a woman's deadly lust for his blood. soon of the most astounding motion picture since motion pictures began. depths. Again appears horrifying, mysterious creatures thirsting for lover's blood. <coughs> what are these giant mutations whose attack on people sends the whole countryside on an endless search? Whatever killed those people is still in that lake and it's going to take more than dynamite to get it out. And then brings them back to life to gratify their distorted desires. Fascinated by ghastly tales of the fantastic, hunt for and find the unbelievable. I, who had never killed anything in my life, found myself assigned to duty as a sniper. And what had been an unpleasant duty developed into a passion and then into a lust. 
the lust for blood. A killer with a crossbow, reveling in brutal torture, driving those close to him insane with terror. We won't fail. We can't fail. In a world that challenges the imagination of man, the living are always with the dead. But you can't mean that you're going to hunt Johnny and Pete like you did those others, as if they're animals. Animals? No, not like animals. I'm going to hunt them as men, men of brains and cunning. And since the unfortunate incident involving my wife has left me without feminine company, I look forward to getting to know you both better, much better. Passionate kiss. Strike. A kiss with the stinging bite of an asp. He will become sightless, and then he will die. Nayland Smith. A most persistent man. He must be eliminated. I'm Nayland Smith. You will destroy him. Can I help you? With a kiss of death. I can't see. I'm blind. You will seek out my enemies and destroy them. Kiss and Kill, starring Christopher Lee as Mr. Evil. The world shall hear from me. Carl. Ursula. They will not escape. shall strike you directly on the mouth. Nayland Smith! Positively recommended for the strong in heart. Transplants are hard to come by. didn't know, but dedicated scientists were willing to risk their lives to find out. This lone fish, the bridge between fish and the land animal, this one was a failure. It hasn't changed in millions of years. But here, here we have a clue to an answer. Starring Richard Carlson, grimly adventuring underwater in the depths of the mighty Amazon. Lovely Julia Adams, her beauty allure even to the man-beast from the dawn of time. Richard Denning, whose scientific passion turned to the fury of revenge. You'll see the most amazing underwater photography that the screen has ever known. In this strangest of all science fiction adventures. Four men dead so far. We are staying until we get, or until somebody else gets killed.
speak to the entire world. What I tell you to do must be done immediately, or 10,000 shall die. 10,000. I'm tired. I want to sleep. My will is yours, even unto death. Mysterious eyes that gaze from the crypts of the dead. A strangled cry in the night. An inscrutable hand bearing a message of death. These announce the presence of the sinister minister of fear. His aim, world domination by means of the most deadly substance known to modern science. A pint of this would be enough to kill every person and animal in London. There's a man whom I thought was dead. He's cruel, callous, brilliant, and the most evil and dangerous man in the world. He used as his most trusted servants a gang of Burmese dacoits and taught them to strangle their victims with these prayer scarves from Tibet. Every ritual murder is a passport to heaven. Inspector Nayland Smith of Scotland Yard, daring to pit himself against the insidious Fu Manchu as the life of this girl is balanced against the fate of millions. Lin Tang, flower of evil, daughter of Fu Manchu, inheritor of her father's persuasive ways. The door you see before you leads to a small chamber. Twenty feet above our heads is the River Thames, the way to paradise. Where one can go, another may follow. Starring Christopher Lee as the most evil man the world has ever known, Dr. Fu Manchu. from the Museum of Oriental Studies. It must be stopped. You're close behind. Everything is arranged. Are you so foolish as to believe that you can oppose the will of Fu Manchu? as one of the crew of this faster-than-light spaceship of the future, sharing their curiosity to know the unknown, their tension, their readiness for inconceivable adventures. Sir, we're being radar scanned. United Planets Cruiser C-57D, J.J. Adams commanding. Who are you? Morbius of the Bellerophon. Well, Dr. Morbius, my orders are to survey the situation on Altair IV. Commander, if you sat down on this planet, I warn you that I cannot be answerable for the safety of your ship or your crew. When you reach the Forbidden Planet, you will meet Dr. Morbius, played by Walter Pidgeon. The doctor is sole owner of this fabulous world. Anne Francis is his alluring daughter, Alta, who has never seen a young man till she meets Commander Adams, played by talented Leslie Nielsen. Mommy, in. Didn't bring my bathing suit. What's a bathing suit? Oh, murder. You will meet a charming character in The Robot, able to produce, on order, ten tons of lead or a slinky evening gown. Always at your service. It must be the loveliest, softest thing you've ever made for me. And fit in all the right places, with lots and lots of star sapphires. Star sapphires take a week to crystallize properly. Would diamond or emeralds do? You explore all the wonders of a vanished civilization. 
you travel deep down into the heart of the forbidden planet to discover the incredible marvels of this lost genius race. These magnificent scenes in striking Eastman color stir the imagination. 20 miles. Look down, gentlemen, are you afraid? 7,800 levels. Yet the wonders of the planet Altair IV conceal a strange and evil force, unknown, irresistible. Richard Carlson. I'm sure you'd all like to know something about the new entertainment miracle, Third Dimension, what it is, what it does. Well, the best way I can describe it to you is to tell you that it makes the screen absolutely real and alive. People, objects, landscapes take on a depth and a dimension such as they have in real life. And it has an added quality. Objects actually seem to come out of the screen. So real, they almost touch you, creating the most dramatic impact that the screen has ever known. Coming to an incredible climax when a molten meteoric spaceship from another planet rushes out of the heavens right at you. Of course, these illustrations are only a pale suggestion of the real thing. If it can't be described, it's got to be seen and experienced. And I must add that even without 3D, came from outer space is a picture that you'll long remember for its blending of science and fiction, for its eerie terror, and for its story of an invasion from another planet that's almost beyond imagining. I can tell you from its size and its appearance, this thing came from outer space. I even have reason to believe that there's some form of life in it. What do you want? What are you doing? Let me see you as you really are. Thank <laughs> you. 